hey, there's big board gaming, and this is a big board. So what are we looking at? We're looking at the two Gore-Tex maps placed together from Vento Nuovo Games, blocks in the west, blocks in the east. Finished production September 30th, packaged, shipped to my door October 4th. Rocket, okay. Box, nice. Map, huge. Gore-Tex map is huge. Russia, big. In fact, the edge of Russia kind of hangs off the edge of two tables put together lengthwise. So we're talking over six feet in length, uh, probably six and a half feet in length. We've got uh, some convoy action going on there. We've got a map of Europe here. We've got the northern, uh, western, northwestern part of Africa, Spain, Italy. And it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's stunning, it's fantastic. I was a fanboy, I don't know what goes beyond fanboy. What goes beyond fanboy, I don't know. But that's nice. So what's in the box for just the, the, uh, the game, right? When you, when you buy the game, you receive, uh, and this is the limited edition, and I have uh, also a copy of the standard edition. Uh, meanwhile, it was, and Mawale was incredibly generous. Uh, I helped out just a little bit with uh, some proofing and made a couple of dorky videos and so he sent me a few extra things. Uh, but, and I'll, so, so what I'm going to explain to you is this is what's in the limited edition and then we'll, we'll kind of talk about what's in the regular edition. So there's three sets of cards and the cards uh, we can talk about in a little while but you can read about those online. Of course, the limited edition comes with the well, you know, full color rule book, of course. And it's all very nicely done and nicely coated, so it's not gonna get uh, stained when you spill your scotch or your bourbon or your tequila on it. Uh, two sets of counters. One is the, uh, uh, the uh, deluxe version with all the icons. Uh, you know, the soldiers and tanks, and one is the, the standard version. I like, I prefer the standard version. I just like that the NATO symbols. Nice. Uh, two sets of charts that explain all the different details on the maps, uh, what all the different uh, icons are on the maps, movement cost, attacker, defender, impact, special uh, attacks, and then on the back, very nice uh, play sequence and uh, the tactical symbols. Uh, this is uh, to hit charts and the special abilities now, which has all been summarized really nicely and very clear, much, much easier to use than on the uh, Blocks in the East version. This is also a nice uh, stock as well. You know, ridiculous amount of counters and blocks there. You've got all the ships for a con... I'm not even sure you can see this. Am I all in the right spot? Probably. Doesn't matter. Black is obviously Germans. And there we go, we've got our mulberries and your uh, ships for convoys and things. I don't know what the cone is for. In fact, I think I do know what the cone is for, but I can't remember right now. The UK factories, uh, the ship, these little bad boys are cool. The little barrels, you can see that, the little barrels there. And uh, they've got the little ridges on the barrels, really cool stuff, okay. Now, you would think, well, that's nice. Now, you probably want to see what the regular map is like, because not everyone's going to go buy this big Gore-Tex map that you can, you know, fold up and wear as a jacket. I might actually make a skirt out of this, maybe a kilt. It'd be great. I'll make a kilt. So, uh, the regular map, you know, it's the usual sized thing, and this will give you a good feel for a 25% increase in size. So, you know, that's the regular map, there's one part of it. And here's the other, oops, that's not it. Here is the other part of it. There we go, there. Uh, <clears throat> all well and good. Here's what kind of blew me away. Very nice set of designer notes. 
which I did not see prior to production because sure how involved I was, I wasn't that involved. Uh, but I appreciate the, uh, the nod anyway you know, to in the, in, the, in the rules. Now, because uh, you're not going to want to get the, even this huge double map out every time, what they've done uh, is made with enlarged hexes. And this comes in every edition of the game. Uh, the maps for smaller scenarios with much bigger hexes so that you can stack your four blocks in there very comfortably. So you can use this, this will be for Operation Avalanche and whatever else, the Invasion of Italy, and this will be Normandy, I imagine. I haven't really read all the details on the scenarios. There's <coughs> uh, another one of those. Why is it two of those? I may have been messing around with this and, uh, and put the put the wrong one, because it's supposed to be an Africa one, so I've obviously been goofing around with that, so let me, oh, I must have swapped the box. So now, this is also fantastic, so set up scenario, scenario set up journal, it's got where every block goes, the cards that are laid out and used, what may, what, at the, that point in time, so this is case yellow. <coughs> And here we have uh, Operation Husky and Sea Lao, the invasion of England. Hypothetical, of course. And this is the uh, campaign game setup. Maybe they are supposed to be double sided. Maybe you get two of them. I don't know. I'll have to check the other box. Anyway, I like this. This is a great idea. Having this and these are fantastic, having all the blocks laid out in production and all sort of good stuff. Awesome, awesome production quality, just insane. And just to make sure that it all does is, is awesome. Oh yeah, and the blocks smell good too. So that's the last it passes the, the last thing it passes the, the sniff test. So I'm super, as if you couldn't tell, super pumped up about trying this. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little while before I get to it. And I'm not sure I am going to play the overall campaign yet. I have a idea about what I might like to do with the campaign. But it will be part of our chronological walkthrough. And I think it will be uh, very entertaining. Alright, so this is Blocks in the West. Gorgeous components. The rules have been cleaned up, polished and cleaned and polished. The language has been cleaned up. There's been a chap who helped with all of the uh, English translation and English usage, correct English usage, so there should be less issues or concerns there. Uh, I've read the rules two or three times and posted some comments to uh, Amar Wiley about them. And it's awesome. That's the back of the box. So there it is, Blocks in the West. I thought I'd crack that open for you. I just got it in yesterday afternoon uh, with a couple other little bits and pieces, which I will show you later on. You'll see them in future videos.